Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. And in this Xcode tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you a few tips on how to actually choose where you save your documents um, in iOS. Uh, because previously, I have made a tutorial on how to save documents in iOS, <clears throat> and that can be found here if you want to. <clears throat> sorry, uh, if you want to find out more about that. Um, uh, but that tutorial didn't tell you how, where to save them, it just gave you a path to save them to. Now some people might want to change that path and choose a different path to save them to. Um, so <clears throat> to do that, um, this is what you're going to have to do. So um, I have an app here, and it's just called App, and it's taken the methods shown in the tutorial I just put on the screen there and can be found in the description. It's my read and write plist tutorial. So these methods can be found in that tutorial. Um, so if you want to use these methods, you can either check the description or go watch that tutorial to learn how to do them. But this is the mom method we're going to be focused on. This is the where this is the path to where to save. So this is the method we're going to need to actually change to work out where to save uh, our paths. Um, so if we go into the .m here, um, <clears throat> don't worry about all this. This is only to write and read the plists. If you want to know how to do that, go watch my other tutorial. In this tutorial, we're only focused in this method and changing specifically this line to actually change where we save our document within um, our <laughs> our uh, why can't I think within our, our application. So before I go explaining this, I better explain what directories mean. So in our app, we have certain folders that the user will have access to and certain folders the user won't have access to. So when the application gets made, it, you know, it saves all its data, its saved state and all that sort of stuff um, in, in one folder and stuff like that. And then we have other folders for our documents that we want to save and for other random things like cache and stuff like that. So if I just show you this here, this is the app that is currently running now, the one I'm showing you on the screen uh, in Xcode. This is its folder, and as you can see, we have the app folder, we have documents, library, and temp, um, or TMP. Now, the documents folder is where we want to save all our data that the user won't really be interested in. So maybe like plists and uh, you know text files and other data that the user won't be interested in, um, and library is where we'll want to save data that the user can see. So maybe pictures or movies or sound files or something like that. And in this folder, the user will be able to see from you know iTunes and, and places like that. So they're the two folders we're interested in. And if you want to find out about more folders, I'll also tell you that um, later in the video. So these are the two folders. So if we go back down here, this is the line that uh, tells us where that folder is and which folder we're going to save into. So here it searches for all the uh, directories and all the paths um, and all the folders it can find and then in these parentheses you tell it which folders it's going to look for. So I don't know what this ball does so we're going to leave it as yes. I don't really know what that's for but it's going to be yes for now. Um, and the domain mask is basically the home directory so the domain mask, user domain mask, is what we want, and that is going to be this area here. That's the user domain mask. That is this area. So that's all of these folders. And then here, this is where we tell it which folder we want it to go to in the domain mask. So here you can see I've chosen document directory. And if we go back here, we know document is this folder here. I know it's got an S on the end, but trust me, it is that folder. So if I build and run now, after choosing that specific folder, you will see, before your very eyes, a file appear here. So as you can see, we have now written a file, a plist, into our documents folder. So that is the document directory, and again, that is for things that you don't want the user to see, so like plists and stuff like that. And the final one I'm going to show you this, this tutorial is the library folder. So to get to the library folder, you just swap out document for library, which is very simple. Um, so if we stop, build and run again, and we have a look at our library folder, 
you'll see here, there you go, there's our plist saved in the library folder. So it's as easy as that, and that's how you change that. Basically, this line here is what you want to change. And if you want to find out about more folders, you can click on this here, open the quick help screen over here, and it will show you all the other directories you can save to. Now, some of them are just for the Mac. So as you can see here, um, there's the uh, desktop directory here, which is obviously only for the desktop, um, which is only available on Mac. As you know, a desktop can't be put onto a iPod. Um, but then there's stuff down here like the library and other stuff like that that um, are only allowed for the iPod. I don't think library is just iPod. I think a library is both, but you get the idea. So if you want to look at this further in detail, you can click on it, and it will open up the documentation over here, and you can see that it gives you... Um, like a document, well it's a documentation and it tells you what all these uh, files mean um, all these file paths and what they mean and what they do so desktop directory in you've got all the basically you've got everything here so this will tell you about all the other folders and files you can save to so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it kind of gave you a little bit of extra knowledge about what this line was actually doing because I had some people asking about it um, so again Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my tutorial. And um, see you next tutorial.